Hey YouTube, Smoking Uncle Frank here. I'm a new, I know I'm a day late. Um, I promised yesterday I'd be up, but uh, I have a good alibi. It's all Jeff's fault. Jeff the chef and, and, and a friend of mine, uh, they both came down to my shop yesterday where I work. I get off around 3 o'clock. And they said, well, we're going to go, we're going to go on up to the Arlington Heights. Uh, this is a pipe shop that I go to in, uh, in, my, in my area there. It's called the Arlington, I think it's the Arlington Cigar, or Arlington Pipe, Arlington Pipes and Cigars or something like that. It's in Arlington Heights anyway. So, so they were going to go up there and they, and they, they invited me and, uh, well, I couldn't resist. So I had to go up there and hang out with them. Uh, he did a little video. I'll put a link in the description if y'all want to check it out there. Uh, a little, 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 a little bit of an overview of what the pipe shop looks, or the cigar shop, pipe shop, whatever you want to call it, looks like. Um, so, so I, I'm, I'm hoping to someday uh, actually bring my camera along because I, I asked the guy there one time if I could film, and he said, "No, nah, no problem, he, no problem with that." So, so I'll give you a better, give you a little. He, he just did a little shorty. I'm gonna try to, try to get a little, little longer. Uh, I gotta. I gotta see about getting some new batteries though for my for my little camcorder because uh, I know one time I had it out and um, I'm filling my pipe right now. Um, I had it out and and, and um, it took me uh, it, it cut me off short. I, I ran out of battery juice and it, and I lost my video and it just was a bad thing all the way around. So so as I as promised today, um, yeah, like I said, I was gonna. I was going to smoke a little bit, and I'm, I've got to start paying attention to the camera. I'm, I'm looking over there and looking down there. Uh, what am I doing? Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, I um, said I was going to talk about a little bit of this here stuff. Here, this uh, that uh, dark plug that I got, that uh, Gotham Hogart dark plug. For you who didn't see it, um, you, know, you can only check the other video, but. I'll just show you again. Kind of what? It's a hard. This is a hard plug. You hear that? That's loud. All right, that, 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 that's funky. Uh oh. Eight eight cigars. Turn my phone on while I was talking. Yeah, Jeff. Jeff uh, got all confused at first in the video. He, he started calling it eight to eight cigars because I guess he goes there a lot. It's not, I, and I had to correct him. <laughs> You're not in eight to eight this time, Jeff. <laughs> I've never even been there myself. I gotta check it out one of these days, though. Um, I guess that's where the Chicago Pipe Club um, they have their they have their their get together there every now and then. And sometimes they meet up at my shop, actually, too. So I've met the guys. I've met some other guys from there once or twice. They're a nice, nice bunch of fellows. Well, anyway, I thought I'd, uh, and, oh, by the way, this is how I cut it. I don't know if you can see that, but I, I kind of just, uh, it, 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 it almost, I cut it into a, like, I, I just cut it into slices and then I cube it up. I just, Break it up and get in a little chunk so um, so I can sprinkle it into my pipe. Don't pack it too tight. Um, I smoked a bowl of it last week, right after the video, and um, I uh, I should have grabbed a smaller pipe because oh my god, that stuff this stuff is this stuff is a lot. This is a lot. There's lots of smoke here. This is pretty potent. It's good. It's got an amazing smell. Kind of a sweet smell to it, at least in my opinion. Anyway, I don't know how to describe it, but it's uh, it 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 it's got a nice it's got a real nice at least out of the jar the the tobacco itself no smell is good. I wouldn't um, smoke this around my spouse if I had one, or uh, my girlfriend or whatever. Uh, I don't think they, I don't, you know, we're trying, unless they're smokers and they enjoy cigar smoke or, or something pungent, um, my advice is take it out on the porch because you probably lose your loved ones that way because this is, the stuff here is uh, pretty, pretty pungent. It's got a, when it's lit. And by the way, it's, 
not that easy to get lit at first. It's kind of it's it's kind of a dense tobacco. So once you but once you do get it lit and get it going, it stays going. It's almost like a little charcoal bed going in your pipe. So I grabbed my little small one. I got my little dangle rock today. And, uh, I filled my uh, Savinelli Trevi up, and you know how big them are. It took me a while to get through that because it's not something you're gonna just. I'm I'm a I'm a little bit like matches, you know, matches 860. I'm a little bit of a, when I'm smoking my pipe, I'm a little bit of a freight train on my pipe. It's just the way I smoke. I don't know. Maybe it's not the right way by some people's standards, but it's the way I do it, and it works for me, so. It's, uh, I don't remember what's in this stuff. I'm going to have to look it up here. I'll look it up on my phone. I forget what's in this, in this uh, dark plug. But um, it almost kind of tastes like it's got a little bit of perique in there or something. I don't know. It's, uh, I don't think it does, though, but it kind of does to me. It's got a little bit of a peppery note to it that I like. I mean, it's not too, not too overbearing. Once you get it going, like I said, it's not that easy to get going. You gotta kind of take me a couple of actually a couple of a couple of um, first lights, a couple two or three sometimes actually just to get it. At least it did the first time I smoked it. Now you do that char light. It takes me more than one char more than more than more than one char light to actually get it up, get it really cooking good. It's kind, of, it's kind of the tobacco that you want to smoke slowly, uh, and I had to, and I and I do when I smoked this. It when I smoked it the last time, I tried freight trading, and boy, I don't, I don't know about that. It it's strong, so I had to kind of settle back and you know set it down and do something else, read something, whatever, fool around my computer, whatever I was doing, you know, and kind of just. Take my time, go about it slow and enjoy it. It's a lot better that way, so. I think that should do it now. Yeah, I got a good burn on it now, so. Anyway, I uh, so I went up there to the pipe shop and I'm sitting there. You know, it's funny. There's a lot. There, there's a few tobaccos out there the, that 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 I that I had known about for a while, and this being one of them, the dark plug, which which every time I went looking for it, it was unavailable, unavailable, unavailable. And then all of a sudden, it seems to be cropping up around the place. It's just like all of a sudden the the dark plug train rolled in or something into town. I don't know, but uh, I found out that. Boswell's has it. They're selling it by the ounce. They don't sell it then. And then I, I went back to my usual place where I wanted to get it from originally, which was Four Noggins. Four Noggins finally got it in again. So, um, <laughs> like I said before, I'm a tobacco pig. I like that. I like this plug. It's not something I'm going to smoke every day, but I'm going to smoke it from time to time. So, um, heh. <laughs> You're gonna see another video. You, I, you want to see what a 500 gram uh, block of uh, dark plug looks like? When I get it in, I'll show you. I'll smack my head on it or something. It'll be some comedy for you. I don't know. No, I don't want to do that. I hurt myself on it. Pretty hard stuff. Also, while I was up there, at the uh. Arlington Pipe Shop. I noticed they had this here, and they had a little sampler on the side. It said, "Smell me." It's uh, Sun Bear Cornel Deal Small Batch Sun Bear, which is a um, what is it? Let's see if I can read it here. A blend of 
Klein and Bright Virginia's. Klein and Bright Virginia's balanced by, uh, does that say banana leaf? Banana, I can't say banana leaf, I'm, I'm bananas. Let me get my uh, magnifier if I can find it, because I, I, I'm getting too damn old. I can't read the small print. I gotta get new glasses too. Uh, I know. <laughs> Balanced by Basmana leaf. <laughs> Not banana leaf. Okay, alright. Uh, I'm glad for that too. I don't think I want to be smoking bananas. Um, from 2014. And is Izmir Orientals from 2013. Okay, so I guess they're from 1924. 2014 to 2013 um, Sun, Sun Bear commands itself with subtle notes of, of South Carolina golden grown honey from personal beehives of uh, Jeremy Reeves head blender of Cornell and Deal. Okay, yeah, I, I met Jeremy Reeves actually. He was at the Chicago Pipe Show. Very nice fella. So, um, so I picked up a tin of that. I figured I'll, um, I don't know if I'll smoke it right away because it's, it's a Virginia, so I might sell it for a while. But I'll probably go back to my pipe store or I'll find it somewhere else, maybe cheaper or something, because it is a pipe store. It's a, it's a, it's a brick and mortar. And, you know, I mean, I support my brick and mortar because if I didn't support my brick and mortar, well, um, I wouldn't have a place to go and hang out and also they they do a lot of nice things for me like uh, like for instance I went in there one day and I asked the guy the next time he gets some uh, some of that Penzance in to stash, stash me a bag away well he knows I come in there a lot so he said he was going to do that for me so I know I can look forward to sometime in the future another bag of Penzance so because otherwise it, it, it's all up for grabs where you're gonna get any or not. It's just it's almost impossible to get this stuff Seems like uh, the minute it's it, it, it gone the second it hits the sh hit, second it hits the sight of anybody so Pick that up and While I was at while I was on the website I'm gonna open this for you. Well, I was, I'm not gonna smoke it today because I've already got this going but uh well, on their uh, website, the um, um, oh, Boswell, I noticed that uh, another thing popped up, and I thought this was a tobacco that was no longer made. I thought I was really under the impression that it wasn't made. Cause it been, it been a, it's been over a year now since I've, I've heard about it, but never seen, but never seen it in the stores. I, I found one tin on eBay one time, and I. I Fortunately, the guy didn't have a, have it at a real high price, so it was worthwhile to grab it. So I grabbed it, and I sold it away, thinking, "Well, you know what? I'm gonna let it because it's a Virginia, it's a Virginia, and it's a plug, and it's Peterson's P3." So they got this at 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 um, Boswell's, and 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 I and I walked in my pipe store the other day, and I was telling um telling Jeff, I you know I you know I. Told him what I found, and um, I had a couple of tins in the mail. He's like, "Well, they got it up there at the counter." I walked right past it and didn't even see it. I, I grabbed the Sun Bear and didn't even see they had the P3 sitting there, but they got a whole bunch of it sitting there now. It's like all of a sudden it, it's P3 all over the damn places. Before that, I, it was like over a year, and, and I had heard that it was uh, wasn't available. That it, that it was. I, I I thought, well, maybe they. Stop selling it here. Maybe it turned into one of those exclusive things that they just decided to just sell it in England and not give it to give it to us Yanks. So, so I got myself some because I've been wanting to try it. Now that I got a little bit of it, well, I don't feel so bad about opening a tin of it. So let's uh, crack a tin. Yeah, there's a nice little pop on a tin and see what it looks like. I'm looking forward to trying this out. I'll, I'll probably uh, fill a bowl of it next week. So, I'm in a big can. Um, and it comes in a nice little. Oh wow! They wrap it. Nice little block of tobacco wrapped in cellophane, and it's it's just like that uh, dark plug. 
Same kind of consistency. It's hard as a rock. It's gonna be hard. Gonna be a uh, fun to cut. But anyway, I well, I got that. And what does it say about this stuff here? If I can read it without pulling my loop out here. Uh, this excellent pipe tobacco comprises select Virginia leaf from Africa, Brazilian blended with burly leaf from Maui. The tobaccos are lightly cased before drying and pressed and pressed and are then heated and stoved for two weeks before cutting. The result is a full bodied yet yet fruity blend sure to appeal to the experienced pipe smoker. Well, I don't know I've been that experienced, but I guess I've been smoking long enough to... If I can smoke this stuff, I can smoke that stuff, so... And I'm not, you know, not getting spinny or anything from it. I may act like I am, but that's just the way I am normally. <laughs> just call me spinny smoking Uncle Frank. At least I know where my lighter is today. <laughs> yeah, this is this is nice though. Um, I can't say that it reminds me of anything because it doesn't really. Other than it's it's it not. I wouldn't quite put it in the cigar category as far as being a cigar. But if you're a cigar smoker and you like stronger things, this would be the pipe tobacco to go for. It it's a it's got a pipe tobacco ishness to it, but it's strong. It's not like it's not like a rope. A rope is kind of a it it's got other characteristics in there which I can't quite figure out yet because this is only my second bowl, but rope tobaccos I've noticed they're kinda like almost like smoking a cigar. They're kinda like one note and that's it. You don't get really anything much more. I, I've smoked they got this rum twist. It says rum twist. And I can't detect a, a lick of rum in the damn stuff. But it, it's good. I like it. It's strong. At least they say it's strong. But I've smoked it on an empty stomach and nothing. I don't want to press the issue. I try to, I try to eat something before I smoke this kind of stuff, though, just to be on the safe side. Because you never know when something might sneak up on you and smack you. No. I generally just keep a little bit of chocolate or something handy because chocolate's always a good thing to kind of kill that that nicotine buzz you get or whatever. So and hey, who doesn't like chocolate? So you know, it's a win-win both ways. So I'm gonna just uh, let this go out for a while and enjoy it for a while because it, it went out again on me because I'm flapping my jaws and talking and whatnot. You know, while I'm at it, though, I didn't, I want to see what this, uh, see if I can get a, a smell out of this thing, because they got it wrapped in plastic, so why, why should I, why, why bother, I'm going to be, if I'm opening it one, if I'm going to open up the tin, I may as well go all out and open the whole doggone thing up and see what it smells like, get a whiff of it. It's definitely a, boy, oh boy, that's, that's hard, you can't. You can't even dent that. Yeah, it's got a fruitiness, I guess. Kind of a fruitiness to it. Definitely a nice smell. I, I, I it, it kind of a little bit fruity, I guess. Um, sweet kind of smell. We'll see what it's like then. See what that's like next week, or maybe something else next week. I don't know. Who, need, who knows what's going to happen between now and then. You know, um, <laughs> I found out that um, all of a sudden also there's another blend that, that, that popped up out of the radar that, that's been hard to find. Salty Dog. Um, I'm sure that there's some of you that have heard of it. But it's, it's, uh, if you haven't, check out, um, I think uh, Old Berg did a, did a review on it. I think he did a review on Salty Dog. Just look up Salty Dog on YouTube and you're, you're going to get something. It's, it's another plug, but it's 
they had it. They I saw it, and uh, I, I found out that Country Squire actually had a sale on it, so I bought three three pouches of it today, and that's in the mail too. So I'm gonna stay off. The, I'm staying off the internet because man, this lately I've been looking on the internet too much, and it's costing me. So I got I gotta stay the hell away from the internet. I'm done now. I I can't. There's there's really nothing else out there though that I can think of, at least not off the top of my bald head that uh, what what uh, that I that I might be looking for. I mean, that those three were pretty much it. I kind of been wanting to try try that Peterson's uh, for a while, for quite some time now. Even though I had a tin back there, I was just kind of like. I thought it was the last one. I thought I had the uh, the missing link there or something, but it turns out I didn't. So I, now I can open up a tin because now I know I can get it. It's just, I talked to my tobacconist and he said that they had uh, something that was they were having problems with uh, with distribution. So maybe they were. I I guess it, you know he he would he would be the one to know. He he's the owner of the shop and he. he he knows the business. He knows what's going on, at least on that end, I would imagine. So, so I'll, I'll believe him and say, you know what? They, they sure had a hell of a time with it, though, because it took over a year to, year for for me to finally uh, see it on the shelves. It was like pipes and pipes and cigars. Uh, they all said they all had a notice up that it was no longer available, which had me believing that it wasn't uh, that it was just was gone. Period. So. I'm glad I'm glad I found it, and I'll I'll be talking about it sometime soon. So, anyway, I'm done rambling for today. I didn't want to leave you guys thinking that I forgot about you. So, um, I know I'm a day late, but uh, it's all Jeff's fault. <laughs> no, Jeff's a great guy. Anyway, um, I'll see y'all next. Uh, I'll see y'all Wednesday. I'll be back on Wednesday. Unless something gets in my way, then I'll catch you on another day. But I'll make up for it, no, no doubt. I promise. I, I'm not gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna try not to be gone for too long. I have to see about getting a microphone for my computer though. One of those clip-on deals because the volume on that thing there, for some reason, it doesn't. The, my camcorder. I got a little camcorder I use now. I'm using now. That thing's got a pretty good uh, way of picking up my, my volume. It doesn't. The computer mic isn't so good, so I got to get a little. Uh, I'm gonna get a little mic, little, little little clippy mic that I can clip on there. They're only about ten bucks. I saw them on Amazon. I'll look at Best Buy and see what they got too, and uh, eventually I'll, I'll pick one of those up though and try to upgrade things a little bit. I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna go out and buy any fancy lighting or anything because I can't afford that kind of stuff right now. But uh, and I like to get a backdrop for my for my for my channel and all that, you know. There's all kind of ideas I got, but one of these, yeah, step by step, inch by inch, I guess I'll get there. Until then, you got what you got. Smoking Uncle Frank signing off. Oh, and uh, thanks for all you guys that subscribe. Thanks for all the people that support me. If you haven't and you like the video, there's a little subscribe button down there, and there's that bell bell icon. So. I hope to be back real soon. I, hope I plan on it. So, anyway, everybody have a great weekend. Smoking Uncle Frank and Fauna signing off. Bye-bye, all.